Good morning, Commissioners, morning. Fire Good Chief Terrazas, City Attorney Ms. Iniguez, Eric Scott, Fire Captain Paramedic and Public Information Officer. Uh, today we are privileged to honor two LAFD members, father and son. They've had many years of exceptional professionalism and service as the department's historic bandwagon detail. So at this time, we'd like to ask retired firefighter Phil Wireeater and also Captain Cody Wireeater to please stand near the podium. Now, these two members do not look for personal recognition, but rather they continually look for positive recognition for the LAFD. Now, this story began back in 1978 when Phil was asked to drive an old fire engine that would be towing an even older steamer to a community event. And this was because Phil had a Class A commercial driver's license. Well, it was at that point that the Wire Eater Community Service Legacy was born. So you could see in this photo here, the old um, engine. It's a 1931 Seagrave hose wagon. It's known as the department's band wagon. It was actually in service to the city of Los Angeles from 1931 to 1965. Mm -hmm. And Phil would continue to drive the band wagon to city, cultural, religious, uh, department events and parades for the next four decades. And this tradition has been passed on to Cody. As you see here in this photo, you have Phil smiling, Cody very serious, holding on to his radio, calling it a water <laughs> airdrop or something. But it's close to impossible to really identify the amount of hours that were volunteered from both wire eaters that they have dedicated as ambassadors of our department. And as great ambassadors, it's also important to mention that these both wire readers have served in the capacity of public information officers to represent our department as well. Now, many were surprised to learn that the only LAFD historical apparatus, the bandwagon, is still owned by the city of Los Angeles. And so many council members, fire commissioners yourselves, uh, command staff, dignitaries, and yes, even Santa Claus have been passengers on the department's bandwagon. So even though Phil retired in 2013, we still can't quite get rid of him. But uh, with the support of all the fire chiefs since his retirement, Phil has continued operating the bandwagon for parades and static displays across the city, along with Cody. And apparently the Wire Eater clan is sp spawning there. As you see, we now have three generations. That's uh, Phil, Cody, and their son, Logan. And so it's apparent that bringing this historic apparatus to community events has truly become a family tradition. And the answer to this one question tells a lot. When asked why Cody or Phil would stand next to the bandwagon when it was a static display for six to eight hours on a Saturday of their own time, they would smile and reply, it's a win for the fire department. This apparatus opens the dialogue with the public. What started out as a question of how old the fire engine is normally ends with what the LAFD does to keep them safe. And at this point, we'd like to go ahead and read one certificate. In recognition and sincere gratitude for your many years of exceptional professionalism and service to the citizens of the city of Los Angeles, and for your outstanding performance as a member of the Los Angeles Fire Department's historic bandwagon detail, we commend you for your dedication, your hard work, and your positive and energetic attitude delivered during your career, which reflects well on the Fire Department. Your dedicated work, combined with your many significant achievements, have placed the Los Angeles Fire Department in a leadership position throughout the country. The Los Angeles Fire Department commends you for your commitment and extraordinary service to the citizens of Los Angeles, presented this sixth day of November 2018, Ralph M. Terrazas. This was a surprise for Cody. He didn't know he was going to be recognized, so surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I think this is the first time we recognize a father and a son. And uh, every time we go to a parade, when I go to a parade or any of our commissioners, it's always comforting to know that either Cody or Phil is there. Because chances are they've probably driven that parade 10 times before. They know how to get us in and how to get us out and, and they take care of the apparatus. And they're true ambassadors of the Los Angeles Fire Department. And then a few years ago, Cody asked me, could we get Phil a badge? And I think that was a surprise for Phil that Cody was able to secure the badge. And I said, absolutely. Phil uh, goes way above and beyond uh, any retiree. Uh, he was a longtime member of our department. If you look at that last picture, the stripes on his shirt, I think, was there eight, seven? seven? So that's at least 35 years. So we were very, very happy to recognize both of them and I look forward to continuing to have them in that seat. And now I'd like to turn over the mic to uh, Phil first for a few words. Thank you. Madam President, commissioners, city attorney chief, thank you so very much. This is a, uh, a very big honor uh, to be recognized by the commission. Uh, the last time I was here, I was um, a speaker in regards to the staffing of staff assistants and, and why we should not get rid of them. Um, I thank you so very much because my family has been involved with the fire department for so many years. Uh, my wife, Cheryl's here. She's a retired Los Angeles police officer. And my two brothers are also, one's a sheriff, one's an LAPD officer, also retired. And my family goes back in the city of Los Angeles, six generations. My uh, great-great-grandfather was the mayor of Los Angeles, a city attorney, also a state assemblyman. And the Del Valle family, which is my descendants here in Los Angeles from 1852, and we've been involved in the city of Los Angeles, and this is my city, and this is my family city, and this is our city. And we do everything we can to try to make the folks out there like us more, like we want to be, and also to uh, pretend or to uh, make sure that we are out there doing the best job we can. So I can just say thank you so very much. This was a surprise for Cody. But this is a, a, a very big honor for myself. But thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> uh, yes, thank you very, very much. Appreciate it. Um, very unexpected. So thanks. And thanks for making you know what right looks like. So thank you very much.